Hi, I'm going to show you how to to do it, to put um, a network to, to make MPC 305 SP a network printer. So what you do, put it on a network. This should be the cable should be here and connected to the router or the switch. So what you're gonna do here, you go to press here. So when you press there, then you go to system settings. After system settings, you look for interface settings. Then you say network. Then after network, you say machine IP. You can put, this is the IP I want to put. It depends on the IP ranges you have. You're going to check on the computer. Common gateway, it's going to be subnet mask. It's going to be like that. You say OK. You can go to gateway. You find the gateway you want to use. This is the gateway. Say OK. After that, everything is fine. The machine, the machine now is fine. So we have to do it on the computer. OK. That's fine. So on the computer, we have to, first of all, we have to ping. You're going to clear. And uh, to get the subnet mask and all that, you use this command yeah this command ip config forward slash all you see it's gonna give you your default dsn server the ip address the gateway you can see the gateway here gateway now this is your subnet mask so we used it then you can see the default gateway here that's what you put in the machine so you create the ip address based on this gateway so that's why i made it 11 11 so after that what we're gonna do to see that what we did was right we're gonna ping ping the ip ping i'm pinging the ip for the printer it was 10.0.0.11 then say enter you can see it's pinging. When it's pinging, you can say escape. You leave it. We find. So it means it's working. So you go to control panel. Some don't know how to go there. Let's do this. Control panel. Okay. Then you click on device view, device and printers. Then you click on add printer. Then click on add network wireless printer. You see, good enough, we got it. Since we got it, you just mm -hmm. click it. But if you don't get it, you're gonna put in the IP. So we're looking for the div drivers. They say have it CD or what? Uh, I don't have a CD. So I'm gonna look for Ryko. Say Ryko. Okay, our module number is check here. It's a 305. Let me be sure, guys. Uh, 305. Yeah. We look for 30. No, no. I wanted a Raiko. You go select a Raiko. Then you go this side. You start. Scrolling down, looking for 305. Yeah, 3010. Okay. We can find the MPC. Okay. Yeah, MPC 2000. Okay, you might get it. Yeah, three. Three five hundred. You went to four. We can't see it. MPC three zero five. This is not something we see it. Can't find it. It's fine. That shouldn't be stress. 
Okay, we don't find it is fine. What we do, we cancel that. We go to Chrome. Later. So. When you go to Chrome, you say Raiko. Type in Raiko. M P C three zero five drivers. Okay, we go here. First one is the one you take. So back to continue with site. Okay, you can see here. It selects your your thing automatically. Then you say Windows. Just say Windows and take Microsoft. No, we're not looking for that. No matching software. So why? Because we're using Windows 7. What are we going to do now? We're going to try... Uh, let me try something. Yes, I downloaded this for Windows 10. You know what I did? I did Windows 10 here. Windows 10. I'm using 7. Let me see if it's gonna work here. Then what I do, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what they say, extract. <clears throat> to extract this here. But I don't see any extract. Run as administrator. Say yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna extract it there. Unzip. Say okay browse I'm gonna browse on okay on desktop let me see what's gonna happen yeah this is disk one successful it was successfully unzipped here so what I do when I minimize this minimize this and if you were on Windows 10 then it's gonna be easier for you so add printer then we say add network printer I got this one you can see the IP I told you <clears throat> so we look for we say I have a disk browse desktop Take that and say okay. Generic 301, this one. <clears throat> I'll take that one. Right. Then I say next. Okay, let me say next. <clears throat> Always install. Say okay. Okay. We got an error here. It's to be difficult for us, so I'm gonna go back, select the second one. We got an error. We go to change this. Something. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Um, we take Raiko. We go here. Windows 7 is a problem sometimes. An error. So now 
we are losing out on that so the drivers we got they can't help us because we're using windows 7 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to say this take that and uh, go next what we do is like select from a list it won't give me this okay so okay i'm gonna look for 10 dot zero dot zero dot one one so next it doesn't want to install still want okay there's a way on windows 7 but uh we failed on windows 7 let's do windows 10 windows 11 10 so we're gonna go here same process you go to control panel and it's so easier on windows 10 because the drivers are there uh we go to control panel okay you look for device and whatever then you go to um add a printer it should be listed yeah this is our printer we got it Okay, a lot of printers came, but we're gonna take this one. Double click the printer you want. Still giving me trouble. I'm trying to double click to bypass, it doesn't want. Okay, let's give it time. Uh, see, it started installing by itself. Let's wait until it finishes. Wow, it's done. Then we can we can find it here. So I'm gonna try to make a copy from here. I'm gonna go. It tells me to make a test printer. I'm making a test print. See, it's printing, man. It's printing. Yeah, the drivers are wrong, the ones we got. So it's gonna, we're going to put other drivers, we won't take these ones. So once you see a printer printing like this, just know the drivers are wrong. So we have to reinstall. So no, guys, it's fine. I'm going to reinstall. Take out those drivers and then get new drivers. So finish. Um, especially the drivers you see when you look at the drivers and they have with it 0026 whatever sometimes it's not something good remove i'm gonna remove this printer so i check i go to this pc say this pc and i go to properties I want to see which windows I'm using. I'm using Windows. <laughs> 10. Okay, if it's 10, it's fine. Still, still printing. Well, guys, it's fine. So I'm going to go look for. maybe we can get it this way we go to add printer listed printer add by ip next select that 10 
dot zero dot zero dot eleven. That's our printer. Go next. Okay. It will say, do you have a, a disk? We're gonna look for. Uh, we're gonna look for Raiko. If it doesn't bring Raiko, leave everything. So what you do? You go to your Chrome and say Raiko MPC. 305 drivers then you go there so it detected our windows which is okay so we're gonna take the first one okay so it started downloading we go to download Okay, this download also has a lot of things which are gonna cause stress. You go back, see the download is fine. Let's access it from here. So open show folder. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click on that. Say if there's no extract, what you do, you're gonna say open as administrator, say yes, say unzip where you want to be unzipping. I'm gonna put it on desktop, desktop, say unzip when it's successful, close it. Close also this, close this, close everything. Then you say, I have a disk. For that, you browse. You go to system 32, desktop, disk one. You take this setup and say, okay. Once you say, okay, so I'll give you one of these. Uh, I'll take this. And say next. Then I delete this and say next. So, okay. Do a test page here. See, your test page should look like this if things are fine because it's a color printer so this is 100 percent fine so yeah guys that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next video